Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom, bringing you guys another video. Guys, YouTube is fucked. I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you guys. In this video, YouTube has been, it's, it used to be good. It used to be a good platform to make money on, to have a living on, but now I'm going to come out and be honest with you guys and tell you guys how much money you can make being a YouTube gamer and stuff like that. So before, back in the day, YouTube gaming was, it was small. Well, actually, YouTube was small about seven years ago. Um, it wasn't as big as it is now. And then it grew over time, and ever since PewDiePie made all these, like, Nazi jokes and stuff like that, and he made, like, CNN news and stuff like that, and they pulled his Disney contract they pulled him away from his own youtube red show um and they were filing lawsuits stuff like that just all those sequence of events that happened um it made a lot of companies like pepsi and stuff like that pull their ads from youtube and that's why you guys heard of the like youtube ad apocalypse where a lot of these youtubers were not making as much money because there were hundreds of companies that just pulled their ads from youtube they're like we're not gonna put our ads on these youtube videos when we don't know what videos they're gonna be on basically saying that they can be putting their ads on youtube videos where there's people that are being racist there's people being sexist there's people that are harassing each other it's just not a positive platform to put ads on and i mean i can agree like on tv they censor things they censor like n nudity they censor uh sometimes curse words and stuff like that they censor things that they don't do on youtube youtube is, a, is an open platform where you can say whatever you want do whatever you want have your own opinion on whatever you want and that's why a lot of these companies are pulling their ads because they don't want to support people that say bad things they don't want to support people that are with like terrorism they don't want to support people that are with being against gay marriage and stuff like that they just want to have a positive a lot of these companies don't want to just support things like that negative things because it makes their company look bad so ever since the ad apocalypse happened youtube actually ended up pulling a lot of their ads and a lot of these gaming channels and actually a lot of smaller youtubers because back in the day dude like i'm telling you now because i used to be a smaller youtuber if you were a small youtube channel and you were still getting good views decent views you can make a living off of youtube i mean it was like a minimum wage job it was just a good job something to keep money coming into your pocket and to support yourself so that way you can actually do it full time and you don't have to sit there and struggle and and be in debt and spend all this money for your youtube videos and not get any money in return and that's the thing but nowadays guys i'm telling you now because of the youtube ad apocalypse i'll tell you right now back in the day if i made a video and it got like a million views or i got a million channel views on my channel i would make a uh, roughly around a thousand dollars and i'm just being honest with you guys i told you guys i would come out straight honestly with you guys and tell you guys so that means about every thousand thousand hundred thousand views you get about a hundred dollars but this is roughly estimated back in the day this is what it was so i made a video in one month i got like up to 1.5 million channel views but i didn't get 1.5 thousand dollars i only got like i think two three hundred dollars and it's crazy to think like that i've dropped that much money just because so so back in the day man i mean you'd get views and you would get money in return like now i've spent more money on youtube than i have gotten back so i've lost money doing youtube and that's what really sucks because if you think about it like do you really want to be a gaming youtube channel and it's just getting worse every day so recently i know some of you guys probably follow some people on twitter if you guys follow me on twitter i tweeted something out recently where youtube went through a lot of these youtube videos and they demonetize everyone's video i have over a hundred videos that have this little yellow money sign next to it which it says limited or no ad and if you really underneath it it says not suitable for all advertisers so when you click on it you go to monetization it says limited or no ads due to content identified as not suitable for all advertisers uh your video remains fully playable and is eligible to earn subscription revenue from youtube red so you can still make money off of it but basically putting it on a bad list of where they don't want these people to play certain type of ads on your video i'm limited to some ads or if not no ads at all on that video you can request a manual review but i've done that with at least seven eight videos and i've received nothing in return so in my opinion they've it's just it's it's pointless you guys as a youtube gamer i think the reason why they're doing this is because i am a call of duty gamer and all these videos that i have up are call of duty which is rated m for mature and they're talking about how call of duty's blood and gore and stuff like that it's shooting each other it's not good for certain ads now in my opinion this hurts youtubers like me small youtuber channels that don't really make it so if you're a big youtuber yes of course you can make it on youtube if you're rice gum logan paul jake paul any of these big youtubers you're gonna to make it on youtube because number one logan paul and jake paul their content is family friendly friendly they censor their curse words and all that stuff so they're getting 100 percent revenue they're getting all the ads that they can get um but they did lose some money because not every single company is throwing ads but the smaller youtube channels are the people that are just starting out even if i think you're like a hundred thousand subscriber channel you're not making as much as you used to like a year or two years ago and when i saw that it really pissed me off and i really sat there and thought is youtube the path that you want to go i do make these videos for fun 
I love, I'm gonna tell you right now, the reason I got into YouTube was not because of the money. I've really, from the start, the reason I really got into YouTube is because I've always dreamed of being able to play a game and then hear people in the lobby be like, yo, it's exotic motion, yo, yo, hey, hey, and just be like, they know who I am because they watch my videos. I've always thought that was really cool to be like, yo, dude, come play with me because I didn't really have people to play with. So when I created this channel, I had more people to play with, subscribers to play with, and they liked my content. So it was fun to play with people like that. And that's why I started my YouTube channel. Now, for me to grow my YouTube channel, my next goal was to hit 100,000. That was my end goal. I never thought I would ever hit 100,000, but I was like, dude, that's my end goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers. I didn't care about the money, but as I was doing this, as I was trying to reach my goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers, I saw the money coming in and I was like, whoa, you can actually make money off of YouTube. I didn't know that it was like something serious. I thought you couldn't make money unless you were like, like a, a million subscriber channel, but you can't, back in the day, you could make money just off of small videos, like a small YouTube channel like mine. But now it's, it's not like that anymore. You have to be one of those big YouTubers in order to make a lot of money. So guys, that is why I have not been uploading, but I'm going to start again. Um, it's, I just had to take a few time, a break to think about what I wanted to do. Am I doing YouTube for money or am I doing it for fun? And I really decided, you know what? The whole reason why I got into YouTube was not for the money. It does suck. But nowadays, like you have to spend money and it sucks because I'm losing more money doing YouTube, but I'm still going to keep doing it because of the reason I wanted to get into YouTube. And that was for people, uh, to meet people, to introduce myself to new people. And it's just, it's cool, man, to think that in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I created a group and we have over 14,000 members in our Call of Duty on PS4 group, which is crazy to think about. Like, I want to build something bigger than just me, myself, you know? Like I said, Exotic wants to, I want it to be something bigger than just what it is. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I know it was a little deep and it was a little personal and I gave you guys a few information that a lot of people have questions about. So if you guys, so if you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up, man. Show some love, show some support, um, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything like YouTube wide and I will answer it for you in the comments but besides that we have some Rainbow Six gameplay I ended up clutching it out for my team so I wanted to play that for you guys in the back background guys Rainbow Six is fun dude I'm actually only ranked silver in a uh, ranked play but I just got into ranked play like I just finished my placement game so I'm gonna climb up there I promise you guys I'll be gold by like the end of today and on another news Call of Duty World War 2 beta is finally download I downloaded it on my PS4 so it's ready I can't wait just a few more days like two or three more days until we can play it dude I'm so excited I'm pumped up to play it Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. Got no friends on um, next to me, enemies to go. Rat Simmons on my feet, that's why I fucked your heart. Middle fingers to my enemies, I stay in my glow. And you know they gonna intervene, my niggas do the most.